Good day to you all. My name is Paul Edwards, your financial advisor with New York Life. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and that you are energized to face the challenges of today. We all know that life brings each and every one of us challenges. But within us is the resilience to overcome. As you all know, I work with individuals to plan and save effectively for that period of time when you will choose to work no more. We call that retirement planning. And I also help you to protect yourself and your loved ones with long-term care and with life insurance. And today I'm going to speak to, especially to the, to the women. My time in this industry has shown me that women in general are the ones that are mostly affected and are also the ones that benefit the most from life insurance. And that is natural primarily because women in relationship with men, the men tend to be older than the female. And because women take better, in general, take better care of their health, the men tend to die first. So in most cases, the benefits of a life insurance policy falls to the women. Secondly, when kids are involved, women by nature it has a deeper attraction to the child or to the children. It's just a natural mother's instinct. The child was in the womb for nine months. And, and so women want to make sure that their kids are protected. Secondly, thirdly, in America here, where the culture used to be that the male work and the women stay at home, it is still so in many cases. And when that is a situation, the women want to make sure that they are protected if the unexpected was to happen. So generally, most times you'll find it is the woman insisting that the family have life insurance. I cannot forget my good friend. The, he called me when the first time I met him, when he called me and said he wanted, his, his wife wanted life insurance. And I went and met with them for the first time. And I remember she saying, we are not naive. We have two kids going to high school, we have a mortgage, anything can happen. No, her husband was an exercise junkie. He was always in the gym, lifting weights, well-built, you know? And he was saying, but why do we need insurance? She says, you don't you you can't say anything you want to say we have to have insurance and they took out insurance now in the underwriting process we realized that the husband had a medical condition and when i and so he was rated so that means his his payment was going to be higher and when they asked him about it, he says, no, he's okay. The doctor said, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, they said that you have a condition. And he says, I'm telling you I'm all right, and so forth. And they had this policy for a while, but I realized that the husband, who was the one who normally handled the payments, was being delinquent on his payment. And about three times I went to him and said, listen, you're gonna make your policy lapse. 
He says, well, I don't see why I should be spending this money. But he's going to keep his wife's policy. And he made his policy lapse. And when the wife found out, she was furious. So we said, let's try and get the policy reinstated. And when we applied for a reinstatement, the company denied it. And said, no, we're not reinstating it. The risk is too high. That was about March of, about three years ago, March. His son was just going to go to college in Boston. So he told me he was going up to Boston to help his son settle down. That was in May. I didn't hear back from him. I said, oh, is, is, is he so long in Boston? The long and short of it is. I kept asking the wife, how is he doing? She said, he's okay. When is he coming back? She said, soon. The following year, I called her again. I said, Paul, let me be honest with you. She said, you know that my husband died last year. I was shocked. I said, what are you saying? So yeah, she said, I felt so bad I didn't want to tell you because I'm still upset over the, what they did with the insurance. She was still working. Now there are two, two kids, one in still in high school, one in college. Margaret is still to be paid. She got nothing. What a predicament she fell in because of the stubbornness of us men. Many times we are so foolish. So I'm saying to the ladies out there, make sure you have insurance. Make sure you have insurance. And I'm saying to the men, make sure you have insurance. It will there be no excuse for any of us. Being a religious person, the Bible says, a wise man makes preparation for his children, children. That is legacy, you know. And life insurance is the most cost-effective way to change your family's destiny, financially, that is. You can call me today, 321-557-1111. My name is Paul Edwards. I am your registered representative with New York Life. Have a productive day. But remember, whatever you do in work or play, make sure you all, we all, make Christ the center of our lives.